Today we're going to go over creating a simple shape from a bitmap image. This image doesn't trace out very well uh, with power trace. I can show you that real quick um, just by selecting the image, going up to trace bitmap, outline trace, and we're just going to trace this as clip art. And you can see it's a real low quality image, so when we trace it in, it gives us some jagged lines, um, some shapes that I don't really like. And so for me, um, instead of going back in and editing this shape, I just create a new shape. It's a lot easier for me. And I do that by using the Bazer tool, which I'm going to select by holding down um, here on this menu. That's going to pop this out. Select the Bazer tool. Uh, what this does is this creates nodes and shapes, arcs and lines, and so on and so forth. It's It's kind of... One of the more versatile of these tools, the two-point line is a straight line, um, and then freehand is a very precise, I mean, it, it uh, you have to be very precise to use that. So um, anyway, we're going to use the Bazer tool here. I'm going to make my first node right here. Um, and so what happens whenever I click again is I create a line. Now, if I hold down on this node and I drag, then I'm going to create an arc. And so that's what I want to do. I want to hold down and drag. Now, the thing about this is it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. You want to get it really close. So I made a curve that kind of pretty much matches this here. Um, and so when I click again, you can see um, that this has arrows going out from both ways. And so this is going to be a symmetrical node. So whenever I click over here, it's going to pull this line to be symmetrical with this line, which is great in some applications, but that's not really wanna, what I want to do right here. So I'm going to undo that. I can hit Control Z on the keyboard or the undo up here, um, and it brings me back to this state. <clears throat> so I'm going to just double click right here when it says node, and that is going to change the attribute of this node, um, which you can see if you right click on it. Uh, maybe not in this mode. Okay, I'll show you that later. but. Um, Anyway, we made this a cusp now, so whenever we click again, it's going to create a line just like it did the first time, and then we can drag and make our arc. Now, it's okay that this isn't perfectly smooth, because we're going to come back in and smooth that out. So we're going to double click again. Um, I'm zooming in and out with the roller ball of my mouse, so forward is zoom in, backwards is zoom out. And I've got this line up here, I'm going to go about down here that on there. It may have been a little bit far, but that's all right. We'll fix that. And then here. And I kind of go in between where you can see there's kind of like flat spots. I will go in between there because that's where I'm going to place my new node uh, when I go back in and smooth this out. So again, just clicking once, double click. <clears throat> and so now I, I want to connect here. So you can see if I click here, it for some reason it erases my last node. That's not what I want to do. I'm going to undo that, double click again, and I'm just going to close this shape by using this button right here, close curve. So that's going to create a line in between these nodes, and that's all right. We're going to go back in and we're going to edit this shape, but we want to make sure that we close it because then we can fill it with a color, uh, and then, so this is basically our cut line now, that w once we c convert this to an SVG. Okay, put my black outline back on there, and unfill it. And so now, um, what I did was, once I get this shape completed, if you double click on it, it brings up your shape tool here, and so now we can go in and we can edit this shape. <clears throat> and so the first thing that I'll do is I will make this a curve, and so uh, what I was telling you earlier, you want to change the attributes of the node. You're going to right click right here, and you're going to see that this, since it's a line, we have the to curve option um, open. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, and that's going to bring up the arrows that allow this line to become an arc. And so um, you can drag it by the arrows, but it's usually a little bit easier if you just click on the line and drag it out. It's more smooth. Okay, so now we have the basic shape. Now we're going to go back in and smooth it out. Now, remember I told you that I kind of try to go in between the flat spots on the shape. So I'm going to double click on the line, and that's going to create a new node right here. And see, this is already perfectly smooth. And it is up here, too. So I'm going to double click there, and then I'm just going to select this node. You can click on it 
or you can drag to select it and delete it and now that smooths that curve back out. So I'm gonna go here and here and a lot of times I'll do it on both sides so then I can select both of the two nodes in between on each side of the shape at the same time. Okay. I'm gonna go down here to this spot those two deleted and those two deleted okay now it's a really nice smooth shape looks just like what we want and now we have this exact same shape over here so we're going to duplicate this shape and if you hit Control d on your keyboard it makes an exact copy in the exact same place and so what i want to do is i want to mirror this horizontally let's so click this button right here and then if i hold down Control while i'm dragging it'll stay on the same plane so there we go. Now we're like halfway done. Okay, now this shape is the same on both sides. So I'm just going to draw half of it. So I'm going to click on the top. See, I kind of drug a little bit whenever I did that. And so I don't really want that node. Let's get that one off there. Start again. There we go. Come down here. Oh, I control Z too far. Okay, let's do that again. All right. Start here at the bottom to the top okay now this curve is a little bit in and then it goes out so I want to try to find the uh, really close to the spot where it changes I'm gonna go about right here so there's not a lot of curve on the top and then this does the same so come about right here oops Okay, there we go. Come back down here. This is a little bit of a kind of a harder transition, so we'll make that kind of a point there, and then come down here. Okay, and then again, this is I want to connect these, so I'm going to hit close curve double click on my shape now I'm gonna start here so I'm going to change this to a curve and in this case I would actually use the individual arrows so that I could make the shape you know a little bit more funky uh, I'm gonna click a note up here just to kind of smooth that out which that smoothed that out a lot so let's bring this in there we go that's good um, that's our that's just a single arc so that's fine um, let's check this transition here. That looks pretty good. We'll just do that. We'll smooth it out by clicking another node a little bit from it. Um, here, we'll do one right here. One right here. Get rid of this guy. And... <clears throat> All right, so now that's smooth, so we'll fill that just by left-clicking on the color, and then if you want to um, do an out, the outline color is right-click on a color. Uh, so I just want to mirror this now, or I'm going to duplicate it, Control-D on the keyboard, and mirror it horizontally, and then I'm just going to drag it over to where my nodes line up. Now, in order to get these two pieces to become one, I want to um, select the first one, hold down Shift, and select the next one. Now I have them both selected, and I'm going to hit Weld which is this tool right here, which comes up when you have two shapes selected that are able to be welded together. I'm going to click that button, and now I just have a single shape. So the next um, step is going to be creating this shape here. Let's even this up a little bit. So I'm just going to select all of these and go no fill. We'll have a yellow outline so we can still kind of see them. Okay, so... Now we're just going to do the same thing here. And drag a single curve across here. Which I only really need to do half of this as well. My midpoint here, delete that. Okay. Close that, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Duplicate, mirror horizontally. I'm going to drag this node to this node. Now these don't line up, so I'm going to have to fix that. Double click it. 
and drag this one over into, and you can see on the line that it starts to get straight. You can see a break in the line here and then once I get it over here the breaks in the line disappear. Okay, just take that to the node now. It will weld together. So select both and hit weld. Now we're going to check these. That one looks good. That one looks good too. And we may smooth these transitions out just a little bit here. Alright, that looks good. So now we want to create um, this space between this part of the image and this part of the image. And so if we want that exact length, come down and get my square tool and click and drag and you can see up here that it's 0 0.026 inches between here and here so I'm just going to delete that by hitting delete on my keyboard and I'm going to select this shape and I'm going to add a contour to this shape that is 0 0.026 inches so I'm going to come over here and I've already got my contour um, tools up but if you don't have that you just go to window dockers contour right here and that'll bring it up over here on the side so um, you have the option to do an inside contour outside contour um, to center I've never used that one um, but this time we're going to do an outside contour and we're going to do 0 0.026 inches uh, we're going to leave these attributes alone these are fine I'm going to make it a different color this isn't going to fill it if it has a little square on it for some reason uh, and then I'm going to hit apply Okay, so now I have this contour that I'm going to be able to subtract from these pieces. Uh, but it's attached to this piece. You can see the nodes here. These are, uh, when it's selected, these pieces are together. So what I need to do is I need to right click in the contour area. So if I right click here, I'm going to get just my normal um, options. If I right click on the contour, then I'm going to get this option here, break contour group apart. So go ahead and click that. Now this sep separates these shapes, but they're both still selected. So you need to click off um, and then just click the back part. So you can see now it's just selected there. There's two different pieces. Okay, so in order to... Um, subtract this from all three of these pieces we're going to go ahead and weld them together so we're just going to uh, click one shift click this one shift click here and weld these together and i'll fill this back in so you can see it <clears throat> okay so i'm going to select that shape and i'm going to select my contour group out here and now i'm going to use this tool right here back minus front and that's going to subtract that and then I'm just going to, this is all selected, so I'm just going to shift and click this to select it and weld it all together. So now I have my shape. And it looks great. Perfect. Much better than um, what PowerTrace did for me.